We're going to get started. Um, we're going to have uh, Board Chair of DePaul USA, Kay Gerhardt, speak first. All right. Good afternoon. I was here in June, that's just a little over two months ago, and many of you were here as well, and that's when we, DePaul USA, announced the purchase of this home that was also the start of a new venture for DePaul USA in Little Rock. We had made a decision to try to expand our presence here. We've been operating the Jericho Way for several years, and because of the response of the people in the community to us and the welcome we had gotten, we wanted to do something that was a little deeper and a little uh, just broader and to deepen our roots here. And so uh, we started on a program to try to fill a need that we find in Little Rock and in every city in which we operate. And that is the need for safe, affordable housing. And so we had found this house that was vacant and neglected and really needs some tender loving care. And we committed then that we would turn this house around and make it into a place that would be a boon to the neighborhood, that would be a blessing for the city and especially a blessing for some uh, individual or individuals who are what we think of as the working poor. These are people who will pay rent, they will pay their utilities, they have a job, but it's just hard for them to find a decent place to live that they can afford. And so that's our goal, and we hope that this is just the beginning of many. So many of you were here that day, so I welcome you back. For those of you who weren't, I'm really delighted to welcome you because that shows that our word is getting out and that we're attracting more supporters. Um, we uh, have great plans for this. We, uh, this is part of our 13 cities campaign, which Chuck is gonna explain more to you about in just a few minutes. And um, before I turn it over, I'm supposed to turn it over to the mayor, but he's not here yet. So I'm gonna recognize Kathy Webb, who is here. She's our vice mayor of Little Rock. And before I do that, I'd also like to recognize Kathy Peck, who is a city director here. And we thank them for their support <laughs> and their leadership because it's thanks to people like that. If we didn't have the city support, we probably wouldn't have as much community support. If we didn't have as much community support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So we really are deeply grateful for all of you and for all that you've done for DePaul USA and for the welcome you've given us since we've been here in your city. So now I'll turn it over to Kathy. Thanks, Kay. Thank you. And many of us who were here that day remember that the house looked a lot different and it was also about 25 degrees hotter, I think. That was a pretty brutal day. So it is a wonderful day to be here. It's a very exciting day for DePaul USA, for Jericho Way, for the city and especially for those who will call 6601 Heather Lane home. We as a society know the consequences of housing instability on kids, on families, on seniors, on the working poor. This home is part of a bold initiative to address these consequences. Those who pay a disproportionate amount of their rent for housing have to make tough choices adding to already stressful lives. Those choices include choosing between paying rent or utilities, between paying rent or medical treatment, between paying rent or a minor health need that left untreated becomes an emergency, or choosing between rent and food. Unfortunately, we know that giving up food has huge consequences on the health of the family, on maternal health, on obesity and re the related diseases, on brain development in infants and young children, and on the ability of kids to focus and do well in school. The fact is this, we have a dramatic shortage of clean, safe, affordable housing in our country and in Arkansas. 
while experts predict that low-wage workforce will grow over the next decade, they also predict greater housing costs and increasing rents, especially for the lowest income workers. So faced with this daunting challenge, what do we do? We celebrate this home and we support programs like 13 Houses and those initiated by DePaul USA. We work with policymakers to understand the consequences of a lack of safe, clean, affordable housing. We sponsor a house or we donate to one. If we commit to work together to tackle this problem, we can solve it. Let's do that as we celebrate this beautiful home that will provide safety, security, independence, and hope. Thank you. That's our newest board member, so we're thrilled that Kathy is joining our national board. We try to have board members in every city we're present, so thank you, Kathy, for agreeing to join the board. Thanks. We look forward to walk working with you. So this is how DePaul USA spent its summer vacation. I think it was a good use of our time, um, but we couldn't have done it without a great team. So I'm here to do the thanks and then to say a little bit about this house. So first, I want to thank the funders for the house. That include Judy Thompson, who's here today, uh, the Jen Biro Fund at the Arkansas Community Foundation, and the Sisters of Charity Nazareth, who are part of the DePaul, DePaul family. So if everyone could give a nice hand for our funders who made this possible. Uh, if you've been in the house, you'll see that it's empty, but that won't be for long. Settled Souls is on the case and they'll be here this week or next week to fully, fully furnish the house. So it's a house, but in about six days, it's gonna be a home. And that's because of Settled Souls. So thank you very much for what you do. We really appreciate it. Uh, we had some great contractors who worked on this. So I'd ask that when I say their name, they come forward to get a little gift. First, I wanna thank our great owner's rep, David Mann, who does everything and anything we ask him. Thank you, David. Eduardo Chacon from Chassis Construction, thank you for all the great work on the remodeling. Brent Staley from Staley Electric, thank you. Keith Wiggins from M&K Plumbing. Is he here? Okay, accepting on Keith's behalf. And Mark Rogers from Mark Rogers Heating. Is Mark here? Okay, all right. Thank, nice round of applause for all our contractors. So I just want to tell a little story um, and we'll finish and then anyone who hasn't been in the house, come on in. If you want to do a second tour, come on in. Um, so my story is this. I was listening to the radio one day and just by happenstance, I heard an interview with the city planner the architect for the city of Copenhagen in, in Denmark. And Copenhagen's known around the world for its livability and for a great quality of life. And they were talking to this architect and they asked him, you know, looking back on your illustrious career, what are you most proud of? And he said, I'm most proud of the fact that every morning when I got up, I felt that Copenhagen was a better city than the night before. And I thought that's pretty remarkable to go to bed and wake up in a better city. I think that's something we should all aspire to. And I think in a very small measure, because of everything you've done, because of our contractors, because of our donors, because of our supporters, Little Rock today is a bit better than it was yesterday because we've taken a negative space, an empty house, and made it a positive space. We've strengthened and beautified the neighborhood. We've also given a person, or will give or work with a person and give them a place to live. So I think modestly, but truthfully, Little Rock is better today than it was yesterday. So thank you all. I think this work is so meaningful because whatever your faith tradition, it resonates. So if your faith tradition centers around repairing the world, this is part of repairing the world. If your faith tradition centers around building the kingdom, 
This is part of building the kingdom. So thank you all for coming with your faith. I think our inspiration, St. Vincent de Paul, a 17th century Catholic priest, and St. Louis de Marillac, a nun, would be very proud because I think they understand that incremental change day after day after day amounts to systemic change and amounts to a better world. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for everything you've done to make this possible. This is the first house in the world in the 13 Houses campaign. We beat everybody to the punch. And we're going to do 12 more houses at least in this country. But we want to thank you. And if you want to do another house, come talk to me. We'll find a house and we'll do another house. So God bless you all. Thank you very much. Next level.